Hey, Hi, Apu. Hi, investors. I'm Rajveen Khandelwal from Where Your Opinion. Consumers like you and me have a lot of interest. For example, I'm passionate about startups. You could be trekking, music, Royal Mall whiskey, probably finance or table tennis, you know. We oh, all love well to express yeah. ourselves, right? <laughs> So what if there was a platform that created designs for each one of us? We created a printing technology that is best suited for the Indian market. The product can be printed in 30 seconds when an order comes. The technology is scalable into a hub and spoke model, thus allowing us to enter into an offline retail space along with e-commerce market. And all of this at one fifth the cost of existing solution in the market. Here is Appu, his highly opinionated character has 2.3 million followers on Facebook. Beard Baba, right, is a revered name in beard community, over 3 lakh followers who are beard lovers, right? And along with this, over 400 plus designs that are globally licensable. We are here to basically find a strategic partner who can help us scale our business to the next level. We have been so far able to achieve more than 2 lakh units of sales at a total revenue of 7 crore. We're looking to raise one crore at 4.5 percent. What is unique about this? Because, you know, uh, you know, below my office in the mall, there are guys who are printing T-shirts. You know, the guy enters the cubicle, print uh, mugs, shirts. So, what is unique? Perfect, perfect. That's a perfect question. You know, first of all, those guys they cannot print on dark garments. They they print on polyester fabric, not even cotton. Secondly, when you are able to, when you look at the Indian market. 70%, for example, it's just, you know, we're just talking about t-shirts here. 70% wanted at a price point of below 500. Secondly, can those guys go and do retail business, right? So now the challenge in Indian space is you not only create a product which is printed on demand, but you, are, you should be also be able to do offline retail business so that you can empower the retailers and supply to them. At the same time, you can always do e-commerce business. Product is yours, you're printing on demand, maintaining no inventory. Your differentiation is you can print on uh, cotton. Yeah. Those guys can't. Print on cotton, print on dark garments, print on 10 other apparels, same design. And also the differentiation is I create designs. What? Awesome designs. What's your background? How did you get into this? Yeah, I'm, um, I used to work in KPMG New York, five years financial, Deutsche Bank. Um, I did my engineering, masters in information management, uh, but my family comes from textile business. Past 30 years, we manufacture cotton. Um, you know, always, you know, in the U.S., there was a great, um, there's a great market where community-driven purchases, interest-driven purchases, are over billion dollars today, right? And those e-commerce companies are profitable, unlike you know, so they have a very scalable model. They're profitable, and they print just in time on demand, right? We thought that there's a, in India, when you come back, not only the regular communities exist, you have communities every 10 kilometers, you know, language, religion, and other things, apart from interests like, you know, we spoke about, right? So we thought that's a great opportunity to do that. But we had to learn how to do it in India. We did offline business in 150 stores in seven states to understand the need of the consumer, to really understand if he really wants to express himself with designs that are relevant to him. So right. what is the breakup of your 7 crore revenue? How much of it is online? How much of it is offline? And when you say offline, can you give me an example of what you mean by offline? Right. So in, so there are two things that I'm talking about here. Uh, let me t take your second question first. In the offline, our business was that we first did business with 150 stores, giving our products in MBOs, right? And achieving sales from there, right? Um, to pilot this, in the initial years, 70% was offline. 30% was online. Today it is 60% online, 40% offline. How much was your last year's revenue? Three crores. Last so fiscal. A, so you're seeing sort of a scale up. Yeah. Oh, we've already, this year we are looking at close to five. Okay. We've already grown 50% in our top line because the inventory model has kicked in, which we discovered in the last eight, ten months. Sure. So you have an inventory model as well? No, no, the print on demand model with no inventory. With no inventory. But blanks, you have to keep blanks. Yeah, we have to maintain So blanks. that's inventory, so don't say no inventory. Yeah, so you have to keep blanks, but those are not dead stocks. Hmm. Uh, agree. There's a working hmm. capital. Agree. There's a working, working capital. capital stock. There's a working yeah. capital. It's, it's a work, yeah, yeah. 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 So what is your USP? It is a technology which you have, which don't, nobody has? So we have refined this in such a way that it's very hard to replicate. We have created our own process. 
we've been able to get a we've been able to get a finishing which is not you know you don't get it so easily the 400 yeah. ip rights or some ip designs you're talking about yeah so there are designs we've you've, licensed you've, our designs you've developed it yourself or you've crowdsourced it no 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 this created in house all in house yeah we've even licensed them in us so you 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 are earning have, money on it yeah on, out of that, okay yeah just like how you buy batman from there can you talk about online can you tell us as to how you're acquiring customers what's your cost of acquisition fantastic right we when we bootstrap you know we didn't have the money right we created over 5000 comic strips this guy here he's a rock star he's opinionated he creates amazing comics amazing opinions they go viral we've been published in newspapers the comics have been used in newspapers across we built organic fan following of 2.3 million followers right similarly with this guy we try to create weird community because we thought that's a great market men grooming needs you need a community you need merchandise of beard apart from other products right so we did that you know there is a problem with the print that you're wearing not the design of the print what you use is plastisol print right plastisol transfer plastisol print has one issue you can obviously do on demand printing by using a, you can take a 15000 rupees gecko machine and actually print this but the issue with that is when you send this to your dhobi he puts an iron on this print's gone so here's how it works okay you look at offline brands you know tantra yeah very well 25 years plastisol printing yeah see this is something which i knew Printing it's very is harsh. Like, huh? Very harsh. Just let them touch it. They won't be able to wear. No, no, it. it is not. You can touch it. Let me, let me tell you something sure. more about it. Sure. This is what I thought, right? I have given these products to 25 retail stores. Sure. Supplied for one year. Sure. My sales have doubled. Sure. People want to express themselves, right? I agree with that. No, no. So here's how it works. Yeah. Sure. You wear a T-shirt. Sure. You wear it for three months. Sure. You price it at a point which they love it. Got you. Right. Got you. And they keep coming back. Sure. What's the point of me selling a 700 t-shirt box and it doesn't come back to me? Fair enough. The point is you're keeping a lower price point with the understanding that people are going to wear it for a shorter period of time therefore it doesn't need to be a long term quality durable product but it, it can be a short term product short term fashion product short term fashion, fashion which may not necessarily fashion. last for 3 years but it will last you at least for a few months yeah so you want the lifetime value of the customer Obviously. his interest is changing yeah. his interest today's is whiskey today is something yeah. else what are you are you an online on demand, on on demand or offline you want to earn out of licensing your 400 ipris or you want to produce it you doing i think almost everything and you little well see yes it didn't there. happen like that it you, happened you, in process just right? it's focus on focus one, on one so thing so focus was very yes, simple we help people express themselves that's we fine we made designs cool. we bought it on various merchandise right inventory issue ho gaya tha theek hai we invented the tech theek hai sorted that out ip ban gaya par mere bhai people were ready to license it par offline pe on demand nahi chalta na chakkar yaar if you can focus on say one or two stream of revenues I think we can scale this up. In the end, we got to scale it up. I, I think that's what you want as well. So I have an offer. I'm going to put in 75 lakhs at 10 percent. So I've already raised funds. It's been done at oh, post. Okay. At post money at 15 crores. There's no way I'm going below that. Where did you raise this money from? Where did crore. I? That 15 crore round. From angel investors, right? Like from some family friends and some investors. Like yourself, it's, angel. It's family so friends. How much did you raise? We've raised two crores so far. Whoa! So I don't think I can help you in any strategic manner. So I'll let it pass. Right. Yeah. I'm anyway gonna just uh, I'm gonna pass on it. I like a lot of the things that you're doing. I think you're a, you seem like a really great entrepreneur. I am happy with what you've built so far. Um, I think there is more direction required. So not pick up every opportunity, but sort of you know go one path because I think focus always helps. Right. I potentially can. Sort of help a lot in this kind of a business. Only thing is, I like entering companies when they're slightly smaller than what you are. And I also agree with Amira. I feel that there is a lot of value to be created on the online front, but a lot of people have also failed. So I don't know. So at this valuation, the size that you are at, I think at this point of time, I would like to pass on this investment. I have an issue with India not being ready there. We all have communities and interests. For some reason, we do not. Value it as much to come into a merchandise. I've been trying to build a beer community. It takes that while. It needs a lot of cash burn. India is not ready. I don't buy that. That's we okay. have an offer. Uh, okay. I'm going to pass. No, no. You're right. going to pass. Yeah. Pass. So, Mr. Sudeep, you've already passed. I've already passed. You left with only one offer, and I don't think so. I'm going to revise that, so you can say yes or no. 
that's not possible so anti dilution so you can't yeah. do that so yeah. i am i don't think i'm going to meet 15 sure years. i totally respect you guys thanks for your time thanks for your insights take care all the best, you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. see you apu take you care thank you thank you thank you Oh, we got a deal. We couldn't take it. It was unacceptable. Future plans are: I think we are going to keep rocking and we keep scaling our business. I think we have great technology, great product, great customer base, and so we're just going to build up on that and um, move forward. So, so, why were you sold out on this? I was sold out because of the passion. Yeah, I've always liked uh, to bet to, on people. No, no. Yeah. The, that yeah. guy answered almost 90 percent of the questions. You almost took his bloody deal. cat exam here. Yeah. <laughs> Which and he kind of fairly passed in that. The, the only thing, look, if he's dealing with textile, then he needs I, a textile course, answer. I,